PS Too Many Games. Well, yet again, a lot, another colossal f up of PS Too Many Games. So I kind of forgot to check the uh, opening times in the store. I naturally assume they'll be open Mondays. Uh, they're not open Mondays. So. My original plan today was Attleboro and Norwich. The reason I go back to Norwich is because they've got a lot of new stuff in there that I actually need. But Attleboro's closed, so we're now going to head to Fetford to see the X and see if I can get there. So, a uh, little more travelling, and I've kidnapped Dave because he hasn't got a choice in this now. You're f***ing <laughs> coming. <laughs> <laughs> Mildly angry at myself. That's, yeah. I will eventually get the Omega Empoim or Omega Empoim soon, but uh, probably not this month anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Let's, uh, Let's get the Fetford. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so just left Thetford. You're filming. I'm filming. <laughs> You're filming. Okay. I'm just trying. Oh, I'm covering up. The yeah, yeah. I, 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 green. Yes. That's green. green. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what you picked up. But I didn't see, but I picked up uh, Superman Returns for the Xbox 360 because you never see it, and DJ Hero 2 for two pound fifty because why not? And that was thanks to Adam who pointed it out behind the counter. You couldn't see the massive DJ box behind the counter for 250. Well, I wasn't looking, but it was right in front of you, sir. Still, um, how many games did you pick up? Uh, five. We'll see what they are later on. Five games. We'll see it back in the game room. <laughs> Hey guys, once again, you're back in Norwich. It's only been like three weeks since the last time. The only reason I'm back in Norwich is that CX have had a large influx of games and something of my need. So, obvious insert, get games here, put plug. Uh, Dave comments. Um, Breathe, Dave. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another glorious episode of PS2 Mini Games. Once again, we return to the city of Norwich. Uh, I do go there once a month. Well, actually, lately it's been like once every three weeks. Uh, this was no exception. The only reason I went to Norwich this time is because I think I mentioned in the last video. Uh, someone basically dumped a lot of stuff at CEX. Like, a lot of stuff. Uh, they dumped like over 100 games at CEX in, one, in like two days. And consequently, some of those games are actually needed, so it's like, okay. So the same day I went to Fetford after Outerborough was closed, I was like, let's go, let's just go back to Norwich. Like, two birds and one stone. Let's see what we get. And we got some good stuff, let's put it that way. It was a good, good day. 
But before we get into that, let's just uh, basically just talk about a few things. Uh, one, I can now 100% confirm I will be at Leeds Gaming Market. I finally got the last thing I needed sorted. Uh, myself, Dan and Dave will be going to Leeds Gaming Market this year. Last year it was Doncaster, this year it was Leeds. It's not horrifically far away from Doncaster, so it's not much of a difference. Basically, Yorkshire's Gaming Market. <laughs> we return to the great county of Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm sorry for that accent, by the way. And I, I, I'd be happy to meet anyone and have a chat with anyone. I'm genuinely looking forward to it because there's always a good chance to find the stuff I need. Yeah, as I mentioned last time, it's just getting harder and harder for obvious reasons because I'm getting more and more closer to completion. Well, I say close, I've still got another 800 games to go. But you'd be surprised how hard it is to find one that's 800 games at the moment. <laughs> no joke, just, just, just serious. Just being serious. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously today's episode is Norwich. Uh, future episodes coming up. I'm hoping to do a prefer episode in the next two weeks. I, mean, I mention it every, every week, but it's like trying to organise, not like setting up, but also trying to have like people to play with. Because playing like it's certainly playing these peripherals by yourself is a bit sad. It's like uh, guitar hero, I probably could, but that'd be really sad. You can't play Buzz by yourself. That's just pathetic. And I toy, I'm insisting I'm going to involve some people to play the I toy because that is going to be a momentous episode. <laughs> Uh, that might be the thousand, thousand subscribers special when I get to it, if we get to the thousand subscribers. Uh, oh, yeah, side note. Uh, subscribers of the. Uh, something's happened in the last two or three or four days. I don't know what's happened. But all out of nowhere, we've got a lot of new people watching this channel. Uh, hello there, welcome. Uh, but it's literally gone from nothing to like. <laughs> and. But it's, it's strange, it's like. Because I know where a lot of these subscribers have come from. It's, uh, <sighs> Welcome. Uh, I appreciate it. But it's like, it's literally, it's, it, I'm still stunned at the amount of subscribers that have joined the channel in the last five days. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I'm not going to make much more, I'm not going to say much more about it because I'm going to give it about two or three or four weeks or a month. Uh, because, uh, okay, never take such a big. Like, uh, like, never take like a big thing. Uh, how can I put it? How can I put this? Something this good doesn't happen just like that. So I'm gonna just give it like two or three weeks, see if uh, these numbers still stay the same, or we just lose a lot of numbers all of a sudden. If we lose a lot of subscribers, I know what exactly what's happened. If we don't, then they're just genuine people who joined. Thank you for watching. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, well, just yeah, because. <sighs> I'm going to be as vague as possible about this one because I don't want to say anything that's going to offend anyone. But because the these uh, the, the, the uh, 250 people who have subscribed in the last two, three or four days may be genuine people, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, sidetrack, sidetrack. <laughs> you have my undivided attention. So besides that, I've got no real like hard plans in place besides the game and markets prefer episode. Probably not going to see X in the meantime. Uh, I do need to do a list episode again because obviously, since that list episode about three or four months ago, we have scratched off about 100 games since then, so the list has got a more fit. Yeah, yeah, the list is getting there very, very slowly. Uh, but anyway, nothing really much to talk about, so we're going to throw to an ad break right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why the Bambi one made me laugh last week, but I did love the Bambi ad advert. I, I literally did chose that myself this time. Uh, we'll see what Dave chooses this one. We'll see what Dave chooses. See you on the other side. Silence! I hope you slept well. Because now you die. You have grown strong, Egg. No! Prepare to meet Iron Skillet. <laughs> oh yeah, Tekken 4 is here. Punish your enemies with new moves, interactive environments, and new fighters. It's a legend so deep, no one just plays it. They live it. Tekken 4, ready T for Teen. 
welcome back. Uh, interesting choice, Dave. Disappointed! <laughs> oh, God, he's going to edit out the stuff, and I know he is. Anyway, let's talk about the game. So, once again, I went back to Norwich, Norwich CXB Precise. Uh, I went to the last level games. It's the first time with the last level games, and they've I've owned everything they've owned. I knew they wouldn't have anything new because small stores, so. But Dave picked up a few Xbox 360 games there, so it wasn't. Really, so, sales were made, for that way, so. I didn't feel bad, but the main reason I went back was for CEX, because there was a... Well, there was, I'll tell you the truth, there was nine games I didn't own. We only picked up six, and I'll get into the meet and crux why. We'll go through them one by one. Basically, the three games I picked, they were all... The majority of the games were between, like, 15 and £20. Pound. And obviously, I'm on a budget at the moment, because I'm saying for the lead game market, so I had to, like, hold back on certain things. And we'll get into the crux in a minute, but we'll go through the games one by one. Game number one from Norwich, uh, Amplitude. Uh, I actually don't know exactly how this goes. I know it was a singing game, it was like a DJ game, techno game, but it does boast David Bowie, Ping, and Bl Blake, Blank, Blake, <laughs> Blank, uh, Blink 182. So, to be honest, it could be good, could be bad. £6 paid for it though, so it's got to be something to it. I mean, £6 games for PS2 aren't as common as you think. So many better games cheaper than that, so. I might play it in the future, but I seriously doubt that. Uh, we'll see if Dave has any footage for this episode. <laughs> it might look good, it might look bad. I just haven't got a clue. <laughs> uh, game number two, a bit of a unique game. Uh, Circuit Maximus Charity Wars. Obviously based, based. Obviously based in ancient Rome. Uh, I'll be honest on the back, the graphics which they're boasting do not look that good. Uh, you know, I actually could be wrong. It's kind of like the graphics like in the original Total War games boasted, and they, they still hold up pretty well, so it could be being harsh, actually. Uh, apparently, 22 distinct Drivers of Warriors. Uh, joy. 19 tracks. It's not bad, to be honest. Uh, it's been far better, what, better games with less tracks than that, but I might try this. Uh, £2.50, it might be actually like a hidden gem. Do I seriously believe that? Probably not, but it could be. I could be wrong. I've been wrong so many times the last year, it's not even funny. <laughs> Oh, by the way, before we go any further, uh, for those who said bring back the beard, <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> calm down. The amount of people who put a message in pesters like uh, uh, bring back the facial hair, sir, <laughs> which um, they meant it as a nice thing, but you could take that so many different ways, but obviously I'm going bored, you can tell I'm going bored, but. Uh, <laughs> What I've found in life is that uh, nearly all females... Females. Females! ...for no facial hair. When nearly every man was goes, No, go with the facial hair, brah! <laughs> Just shows the dichotomy of the uh, audience we have. And uh, there are females who watch this channel, thank God. I mean, it's not a total cock fest. We have, we have quite a few females who watch this. If you're one of those females, thank you. <laughs> Game number three is a game I swear I thought I had, but I always find out what I don't have by just going through here, so... Uh, Godai Elemental Force is one of those games I swear I had. But it's not on the wall, because I didn't take... And so, I must not have had it, but anyway, I'm curious what this game's all about. It seems very, like, uh... Mystical, if you will. Uh... Pfft. Gives me that kind of, like, uh... RPG, like, uh... Wizards kind of feel. I could be totally wrong. Uh, will I try it? I might try it, but I'm the front of the four symbols for Earth, Wind, Fire and Water, so... Uh, it's going to be that feel. Obviously, when you think Earth, Wind, Fire and Water, you think the original Avatar cartoon, which is an amazing cartoon, one of the best cartoons ever made. Uh, obviously, it was a long, long time ago, it's got about 20 years old. Oh my god, I'm getting old. <laughs> game number four and a game I'm actually probably going to play, because it looks kind of cool. Knights of the Temple, Internal Crusade. Or Infernal Crusade, even if I can fucking read. <laughs> Basically, you're a knight for the Knights Templar who starts fighting demons in the 12th century. So it's got a weird dichotomy because you're a knight for the Knights Templar. For those of you who don't know history, the Knights Templar were a very religious uh, organization who went to the Middle East to try and force Christianity on the Muslim world. Yeah, so, yeah. not a good thing. <laughs> Trying to force a religion on people who's a different religion is just so offensive and many planes it's unreal. But it did happen, so I'm not going to hide from the truth, it did happen. But anyway, the Knights Templar were probably some of the, supposedly the strongest 
bravest warriors on the lands until they met the armies of Saladin. <laughs> then they found out what what uh, brave people were. Uh, anyway, that's like nine centuries ago. Anyway, moving on. So you're basically a Knights Templar soldier who starts fighting demons. So it's kind of got a cool concept. I will play it, and I think there's a second version of this. Like, a, a, so it must have done reasonably well. Anyway, six pounds paid for it. Uh, my curiosity is peaked. We will try it sometime. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, the penultimate game, game number five, uh, SOS The Final Escape. SOS something Jamaica? <laughs> oh, you're gonna put that Kofi Kingston theme in now, aren't you? <laughs> Such a weird ass theme. Anyway, I have no knowledge of this game. Uh, I don't know what it's about. Uh, it's got that cool, like, art style that comes from, like, Atlas, that kind of stuff. So I am peaked, uh, curiosity-wise. Uh, I'll have to Google what that actually is because this might shock a lot of people. I don't know every game in my out. You're a phony! Hey, this guy's a great big phony! So, I mean, there's some games I've never heard of. That's what the beauty of collecting every game for a console is. You find games you've never heard of, you find glorious hidden gems, and you'd be like, how did I miss this when I was a boy? Uh, <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> I mean, ever since I found the uh, Magnum Opus that is Cowboy of Sudoku, I was like, why didn't I buy this one as a boy? This clearly was worth the time and effort. Strong sarcasm. It's probably one, probably one of the worst games I've ever made. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, last game was an expensive game. What's the main reason I went to Norwich? Because this is the first time I've seen a physical copy at a CEX. These are not common games. Not a franchise I particularly play, but it's a franchise where they've got a lot of games that are expensive. Anyway, last game, Armored Core 9 Breaker. As you see, I paid 50 <laughs> for this. <laughs> uh, the Armored Core franchise, every one on the PS2 is worth at least £20 upwards. That's just a matter of fact. I think some of them are worth £100 plus. Uh, for those who don't know what like, uh, Armored Core is, you're basically in a, like, a Gundam like, robotic Japanese suit. Because the Japanese just love their Gundam robotic suits. Uh, nothing wrong with that, it's just they seem to have a grip on it and it's like... They love them, to the point where they literally, I think I mentioned like last month, they literally thought, they literally had a discussion where they actually could really build a gigantic robot suit. <laughs> I love the way the Japanese think sometimes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted to be in that meeting room for that conversation. Because A, it would cost literally billions of, uh, well actually yen's not, yen's a bit of a weird currency because the, the uh, like, to yen to dollar is like ridiculous, so it costs probably trillions of yen to build that. I could be wrong, by the way, for that. If I am, I'm sorry. And at the end of the day, what would you get out of it apart from a humongous robotic suit that only one person could probably pilot? Sometimes the core aspect is outweighed outweighed by the actual reality of the aspect. <laughs> that's a freaking <laughs> fact. <laughs> so anyway, that's the six games I picked up. So that's the eleven games I picked up for the last road trip. So we're actually on thirteen eighty six at the moment. I will change it, I swear. We are rapidly approaching fourteen hundred. Will I break fourteen hundred at the actual game market? I bloody hope so. I hope that going all that way will get me at least fourteen games. Because I'm taking roughly Well I'm taking what well, I'm taking a good amount of money this time. Uh, nothing to laugh at like kind of money. It's like but we're also going to CX at the same time because we're going to kill, kill two birds with one stone. But it's a Saturday, so the game market is like eleven till four o'clock, and obviously CX is closed at like five or six. So we might leave the game market early, then go to CX because apparently there's free CXs and leads four if you know where you're looking. Uh, yeah, I lo and uh, you know what, Dan. You know, obviously Dan wants to go to every CX on the planet. Good luck with that, Dan. By the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing at you, Dan. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, but I like different CEXs. Uh, obviously, I made that board for a reason, so I can add some names to that board. Uh, nothing is ever going to be as rough as Brixton, so that's, that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, I've never actually been inside Leeds, the city, so it should be quite interesting to see Leeds and the, uh, the heart of Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Get a proper brew, get some Yorkshire tea. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, apparently, we had a shit of subscribers in the last five days. Thank you. Question mark. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next month. 
if the number goes down significantly, I know exactly what has happened to me. If the number stays, then it's actually a good thing, and I welcome it. I hope that you all stay. Uh, you don't know. Uh, but what we've learned from this, clearly shaving my facial hair has brought in a lot more viewers. <laughs> The only thing that's changed, because the last the last two episodes have done fantastic views. The only thing that's changed is my facial hair. So apparently, younger Adam, my, my name's Adam, obviously, younger Adam is is a is a draw. <laughs> I don't believe that even when I'm saying it. Uh, anyway, so the next episode next week, I haven't got a clue what it's going to be. Uh, probably going to be a peripheral or some kind of like list or something. It'll be something like that. By the way, I hope you watch that, watch that next week. Oh, before I go any further, uh, for those you might notice, that's been a hit and run episode for the last four or five days. There has been some serious technical issues. So, my second recording, because I record them in different parts, uh, it plays on my it plays on my computer. I can watch it. I can do it. As soon as I go to edit it, it says cannot be edited. I have never had that ever before while editing videos here. So I don't know what's happened. So if there's any thought, one thing I can do is try and like send it to Dave and like bring it back, download it and see if I can do it again because it's such a stupid thing that Ed Message is giving me and to be honest it's starting to piss me off because if I can't get it then that means this playthrough is dead even after I recorded the whole thing already it's recorded by the way, it's done uh, it's dead and I'll be pissed if I have to give up already I've, or option two, uh, I skip that, episode, that that part which would be the, la would be the end of level one and the start of level two. To be honest, there's not really much in the way of a uh, story for that one, so it wouldn't be that great a loss. But I don't want to do that because I play those. I play, that's like two. That's like an hour of gameplay lost because of technical issues that are beyond my con comprehension. So anyway, we'll try and fix it. If you don't see the episode next week, that means I've given up. I have to move on. Uh, by the way, for those who voted on the poll for what game I should play next, thank you. Uh, Dark Cloud and Yu-Gi-Oh came up top two, which, um, to be honest, I'm kind of stunned Yu-Gi-Oh was that popular. I knew Yu-Gi-Oh in general was popular, but that game, I've played it and I love that game, but it's like, I'm glad that there are other people here who love that game, so there will be a playthrough of both of them in the future. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh will be very quick because the story mode only takes about four hours to complete, and if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh before, you know what Yu-Gi-Oh is about, so I've got to explain the rules. Dark Cloud will be a lot longer. Dark Cloud's a long game if you know what you're doing. And I haven't played Dark Cloud in a long time. So there's a lot of things I've forgotten. So I'm going to be very amateur at that one. So Anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Have a good rest of the day, guys. I'll see you in the future. Ciao for now. And I have no, I have no idea what that hand gesture was. <laughs> see you later.